Okay, so this is the second part of this two-part demo of creating a dynamic door block that will both scale and flip. So we've done the part um, in our original demo of how to scale it to these different preset sizes. Now this next video is going to address how we can flip it and still maintain the ability to scale it. So we're going to go back to our door that we created. This is the one that just has the scale feature, scale and stretch um, feature put into it. So I'm going to double click on this block to take it back into the block editor and we're going to add the flip aspect of it. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to do a flip around a vertical axis. So I need to find the midpoint between these two points. So I'm going to just draw in a temporary line here between the end point of my door leaf and the start of my arc there. So I'm going to add a parameter set and I'm going to look for flip. There it is, flip set. And what I want to do is I want to take it from the midpoint of that line and draw a vertical line up. It doesn't really matter how long you draw that line. And I'm just going to put the title off to the side here. So that's created a flip parameter as well as a flip action. So let's go into our flip action. I'm going to right click and define a selection set. Now I'm going to select new selection set and I want it to flip everything. So I, I want it to flip, actually you know what, before I do that, let me erase my temporary line here. So I'm going to right click back into my action selection set, new selection. I want it to flip everything. So I want it to flip the door and the swing, but I also need it to flip this um, action, um, set of action parameters. Now. The problem, if I just select everything using my mouse, it's hard to get it to select this stretch action up here. And then what happens, well, I'll, I'll show you, I'll kind of show you what happens and we'll go back then and fix it. So if I just select everything here and then hit enter, I'm going to do uh, test my block. And okay, looks good, I can flip it, great. Now what happens when I try to scale it? you can see my door goes in the wrong direction. So it did not flip that stretch action that we added to the, the end. So I'm going to go out of my test, go back in here, and I'm going to right click on my flip action again and go back into my action selection set. I'm going to select new selection. And instead of selecting it with my mouse, I'm going to go to the command prompt and I'm going to type all. And then I'm going to hit enter and then let's go back in and test it again. So again, I can still scale it. I can flip it. Now let's see if I can still scale it. Okay, now this time it's working. So if I, um, I'm getting my stretch function to, to happen with the door leaf in the correct direction when it's flipped. So we've taken care of that issue. Um, now, the, the next problem that we need to solve is when I scale it, you may notice that my flip is no longer in the center, which is going to cause us um, issue. So what I want to do is I'm going to add a move function that keeps this flip function, because you can see here our base point is over here, and it's not going to flip evenly if I've got the the door scaled either bigger or smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of the test window and go back into the demo. So the next thing I want to do, I need to keep this flip state in the middle no matter what size my door is. So I'm going to add a move function and I'm going to go to the actions here because again I'm going to add it to the same parameter that I've been working with. I'm going to select move and then I'm going to select the parameter and hit enter and then it's asking me to select objects so I want to select this flip parameter here and hit enter and then what I want to do is I want to make sure that it stays halfway between those two points in this distance so I'm going to go into my move and I'm going to go to this distance multiplier in my properties and change that to 0.5 
So now let's test our block again. Zoom in a little bit here. Now you can see that the flip action is moving with the scale. Once I let go um, at the size, it moves it to where the, the center is. So that's now performing how I want it to do. Now the next issue that I have is when I flip my door, you'll notice my base point stays over here instead of moving with the door. So now I need to add a parameter to make that base point always travel with the door, the door leaf because I want it always in the same place. So I'm going to go back out of my test and I'm going to go back into my block editor. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add a base point parameter. So now I'm going to go into the parameters. I'm going to look for um, this base point here <coughs> and I'm going to place it right here which is where the base point of my block is. So the next thing I need to do is I need to add that parameter to my flip move. So I'm going to go to the flip action, I'm going to right click, and this time when I go to the action selection set, I'm going to modify, because I just want to add that base point. I don't need to redefine the whole thing. So I'm going to modify, and I'm going to just kind of zoom in here to make sure I select this base point, and then hit enter. So now let's test our block again. and um, what we want to make sure is that this point, which is this blue square, travels with our door when we flip it. And now you can see that it will. So that's excellent. It's doing what we want it to do. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the horizontal flip so that we can flip the door this direction. So I'm going to go back out of my test. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and save my block just in case. and then I'm going to add another flip state. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and go to my parameters and I'm going to look for actually no, I'm going to go to my parameter set and go to my flip set and I'm going to start it here at the corner of my door and I'm going to take it here to the arc and I'm going to pull this label can just kind of go off to the side so now you can see it's added another flip action that now needs to be defined. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to my action selection set, my new selection set, and then what I'm going to do, I need to do this again like I did for the other flip, I'm going to type in all instead of trying to select it on the screen because I want it to flip everything. And then I'm just going to hit enter and then let's test it. So if I make my block active here, I now have this flip, make sure that I can still scale everything correctly. Looks like I can, I still have this flip. My... And now you can see, now that I've got it flipped the other direction, I can't scale. So now we have to go back get out of the test here. And what we have to do, what happened now is we have to add this second flip that we just created to our other flip because when we when we created this flip this one didn't exist so it's not including that in its flip. So let's go back into the um, vertical one here. So let's select this one. I'm going to right click again, go to action selection set and go to modify selection set. And then what I want to do is I want to just select this flip state. Then hit enter and then let's test it again. Alright, so I'm going to click on it to get my grips and I can still scale. Let's check our flip. Flip is working. I can scale it. Okay, let's try our other flip. And I still and I have my, my scale then once I flipped it. Let's flip it that way seems to be working all correctly and my base point is moving with me. So then all I have to do is, I'm going to close out of my test, is save my block and close block editor and then I have a fully functional scalable flippable door block. 
So give that a try. I know it's a lot of steps and it's a little bit complicated, but like I said, just make sure you're testing as you go along and as you're finding issues, um, adjust your other actions. Um, but you should be able to come up with the, the finished product.